life. And we are live! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MBTV. We're live with me, Lee, so let's not skip the introductions. Um, AM has gone down. Episode probably 2 1 up so far in this round. Carrick Johnson with a massive double kill there against Ned Sam Balglir, doing massive, huge work here for his team. Ray brings down Damu Corey, and Aperture probably looking like they're taking a lead in this round already. Carrick Johnson with another kill as well, taking names and kicking ass. Taking names and love. Uh, in the meantime, faces. though, I do have the flag car. Um, Crazy was going to try and hold it out and, and keep the flag car for the rest of this 15 seconds, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, they do get a team kill though, and there's 13 seconds left. Perhaps he could do this? No, was it? Crazy Boy goes down. Uh, if Chirari can get to the flag in 7 seconds, then they can win the round, but he's going to be killed, unfortunately. And does oh go down to God. Azan. Uh, <laughs> he got Kazan. like quadruple stun. Straight to a break here, so we just caught the end of the first set. Uh, it's great we haven't missed too much of this, and Aperture by R. 3 1 up here. But we did see Saturn as the dominant uh, faction, perhaps slightly dominant in the last um, map. Obviously, they they won well, they won five three in the, as um, when we in the in the previous match we saw. So we're just gonna cut to a break here. And I think what we can do is we can show the intro when we go to the uh, the next set as well. Yes, you know, I agree. Try to you know get refreshed. Yeah. Let us forget the last match. We well, it was a, it was an alright match. It was just uh, it was disappointing to see Renegades not looking like the team which um, you know they can be. But well, um, what can we say about these teams during this break here? Well, Apis Europae, it's, it's unfortunate that this is the first match we've streamed with Apis Europae, actually. Um, because I expect every match that they play to be one-sided. They're too I generally, good. <laughs> I generally don't, don't go and stream them. Although we've had some, you know, plenty, plenty of one-sided matches from other games. So it's, it's a shame that we haven't been able to show, you know, let's call them the best team in the team because that's what they're considered and that's what I think they, they probably are. They take um, one man very seriously. I respect them. They do. And they're all very, very talented individuals. Um, but it's great that we can stream them now when we haven't missed too much of their game. They are 3-1 up against Guard of Estinia. People saying lots of good things about Guard of Estinia at the moment, like Kurwa, um, Kurwa Sotomersu, their leader. He says he thinks IG are probably stronger than um, Aperture Pie right now. I'm not sure about that. I don't know, really know if I trust Sotomersu's opinion. Um, but IG have managed to take a round with Rodox on this um, first set, and they're, and they're not looking too bad for it. It's good, it's good you know, to... Um, Get around it, around it every set. You don't want to go, ever go down 4 0. It's no. just too demoralizing. Uh, I don't think, there's no setup really where well, even teams should be losing 4 0 as well. Uh, there's just not that much imbalance in the in the game. Um, so it's, it's good that they've managed to stay in, and they are hoping to take sort of a, a 3 1 or a, or a 2 2 and um, they have a very competitive Valoran. RIG capable of taking down the Kings? Are they? That's the question. I mean, I don't know. But we we saw them um, playing very well against Legend, although they almost lost it uh, towards the end. But um, it's not live, by the way, so we yeah, won't have the intro just yet. Um, they almost lost it towards the end, but they they held strong and they looked really solid in the in the tiebreaker. So uh, I think they're a team which is looking really strong, and you know this they are they're all top tier players, all of them. They're all brilliant. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Cory. I play with him in the five side, and I play with him in a, a number of um, teams and, and tournaments, uh, UK teams, and uh, in Court of Reference for a little bit. And uh, I'm a really big fan of his. I think he's um, one of the best Cav in the scene. Um, on the on the flip side, you got AE, who have Shamaf Rush, arguably the best Cav in the scene. Although um, it could be said of Shamaf Rush that he's not a Cav versus Cav player. Uh, he's he's probably the best at taking down infantry and the best support Cav. Which is, you know, the main should be the main role of Cav for an organized team, but um, I feel like having that Cav Cav edge can help you out because inevitably, inevitably those do, those battles do happen. They do, yes. And when you have um, players which can get you kills and get you wins there, that's uh, it's always going to be an advantage. Well, I'm just a little bit of a break as the team start their gear and their and their plans. They got they got time to relax. We're not we're not going to be rushing them. Uh, a, play, a player has dropped from the server. I think they may be doing a, a little sub here. Uh, I'm not sure. They're debating we'll just, whether to start. We'll have to bear with it. You know, I, I want to say like AE when we when we spoke to Cleric Johnson back in WNL is a, a smart and and dedicated man. Like AE are good out of dedication, but it seems to me in the community, I just get the impression that people want to see AE fall. Well, everyone always everyone always wants to see the underdogs uh, win. You know. Yeah, it's, and that's I, just it. 
it natural. Just, it just reminds me. I just saw a, a very fascinating documentary called Smash Brothers on YouTube. About oh, did you see that? Was, did I link that to you, or did you find that somewhere else? I just found that it was. It's very well done, and if you guys like gaming, oh, I, yeah, I watch it. It's watch absolutely that. brilliant. Definitely but watch. The I'd like Smash to compare AE to a man named Ken in the Super Smash Brothers scene, who won <laughs> every single MLG tournament for almost two or three years. It got yes. to the point that he quit, not because he wasn't good, but because or not because was, he wasn't making money. I mean, he was making was, money. Like. Yeah, it was just too much negativity. Because yeah. people got sick of seeing him beat everyone. And I feel yeah. like AE are the Ken of Warman. <laughs> they are the Ken right now. And, you and, know, it's um, a little unfair. And Kura, they're the Korean DJ. The Korean DJ. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to stay. They just, so really they just well go nuts. No one can deal with them. So it does not true. compute. <laughs> Renegades are the Mewtwo King. And when Korean <laughs> DJ plays Mewtwo King, it does not compute. They do not know how to deal with them. <laughs> Do watch the Smash. You're missing all the references here, but definitely watch the Smash Brothers documentary. It's brilliant. It's yes. very inspirational. About um, that's how I feel about AE and how I feel the community sees them. But God, we've seen now perhaps a DJ Chris. Who knows? I I commend them more for being the best, despite the haters. You know, you just gotta brush them off. Yeah. I'm, nah, I mean, I, but I'm just really curious to, if IG can. They're prepared to, to run them out. So I mean, they they know they're the best. Uh, they're happy to sort of be confident and um, and you know put themselves up to the challenge. They know they, they don't they're not ones to sort of uh, say, oh well, it's just going well for us right now. They're saying, well, you know, we, we are the best. We know we're expected to win, and they're happy to put that pressure on themselves, which I like I like to see. Um, you know, it makes it makes it more exciting for us to watch. I think because you know if they do ever lose, and it is very rare. It's you know, rare it's and it's something noteworthy, and maybe it yeah. might happen here. It could do. They didn't guard to the so studio. Still early doors. They drew, right? Or they drew with uh, Legend and then won the tiebreaker. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And A had a pretty, pretty comfortable win against Court of Reverend. They won 13-3. Uh, just coasted past Court of Reverend, um, as most people expected. Had a lot much easier time in the quarterfinals than IG did, but um, I think most people would say a much easier team as well. Uh, Legend looking really strong right now, and it's impressive for uh, Guard of Studio to come through um, and show that they're still. They're still not dogs to be messed with. They're dogs to be run away from. They still, they they might, yeah, they might have um, rabies. Their they might mouths, have rabies, their yeah. Are frothing. <laughs> they may, they may not have been inoculated, and you don't want to take that risk because no. they can bite. I actually got a bite on them. Then again, A E might have to take them back behind the shed. <laughs> the saddest scene of any film. <laughs> a dog, which just you know. Dogs are pack animals. They got their wolves at heart, and when they get above their station, you got to put them back in their place. And um, perhaps that's what AE going to be doing back tonight. In, that's what you call putting a shotgun between. Them. <laughs> 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 Jesus <laughs> Christ! We don't condone animal abuse on this no, stream. We, don't I listen to last don't. people. This is sort of the analogies have gone wild. Um, we're ready to go live anyway. She might have had a bit of a connection issue. He's back in the in the server so now. So we are going to run the intro. Run the intro. And we're in the game. We're in the game, ladies and gentlemen. This is the second set of Frosty Battle. God of Sinia vs. Apis Europae. Get your hype caps on. And your thrill boots tied. <laughs> and that's all you need. Get, get ready you for this. You can sit butt naked beyond that. <laughs> Roller coaster ride. For the game, I don't know, yeah. Um, pretty chilled out. Uh, start from the team. Chilled teams. out here on Frosty Battle. Both teams yeah. just... Quite a long break. Um, perhaps the wind taking out of uh, Apis Rope by Sales a little bit. IG got a bit of uh, time to a get ready. Tactical break by IG. I like what they're doing here. Well, they know they got a deficit, but um, they're not going to be feeling too stressed out. They just got to make sure they don't slip too far behind on this map. Oh, and Shamafrash having more further connection issues. And this is a tough thing for A to have to deal with here. Oh, One of their strongest players is having yes. a real hard time here. Uh, IG going to be a player up. 
Internet OP. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, well, he has Swedish internet. It's like the second best internet in the world after Korean, so no excuses really, other than just being bad. He might have he might have accidentally kicked the cable out. He's just so excited. My fresh. Sort out your clumsy nature. Get some, you know, sellotape those cables in, do whatever you got to do. So ID right now having the benefit of luck. And apparently... Well, it's, I mean... The gods are smiling. There's, there's luck and there's luck. Uh, or they got a DDoSer in the background. <laughs> I just feel like part of being in a tournament is making sure your connection's right. That's just part of, you know, the thing. If your connection's wrong, it's just as bad as your aim being bad. I don't know, it's like... It's not a good thing for it to be decided on, but it's just something you got to make sure is there. Obviously, yes, you know, it, it, internet companies often suck and are often An anecdote terrible that to relates with. to this, there is actually a team in League of Legends that is trying to qualify for a spot as a real team, and they're playing in an internet cafe. And so they ended up losing because they were playing in an internet cafe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They lagged out. Well, that's the thing. Anyway, we've got the game going on here. Uh, Craig Johnson is going to pull back a kill immediately, take down Shirari. Uh, oh, Claire, Gon Johnson and M trying to take this building that's swarming with IG yeah, players. They, they sort of going around as the, a gruesome twosome of uh, A infantry here, just messing up everything in front of them. Gruesome and, uh, really twosome. Nice I think he here. got an overhead slice on a man jumping over him. Absolutely brilliant work. Uh, yeah, it's really tough to deal with a great uh, infantry player like this, but Harmon comes in and gets a kill on uh, Claire from the back. M goes down too, and IG destroying their stuff in this round. Corey with a double kill here as well. Takes down Azan as well. Uh, IG raising the flag too. Cypher brings down Bambino, and looks like they're gonna bring this round home. Not Bambino. To Astinia, back to the village of Astinia where they where they reside. Bowglare takes down Nelly Anders, drops two, and just Larue left. Um, our regular horse and sword guest. Not even jump reloading. You guys forgetting that he's playing the new patch. No, the man. <laughs> he's, he's accepted his fate, I think. Oh, oh he it's, got it's someone! Oh, no way he did it! No, it's a team kill. Duke Harmon, what were you doing? Yeah, too bad. That's he picked up his shield, yeah. though. He might give it back to him. <laughs> yeah, well, they kept five people alive, so it's uh, that's decent for their goal situation. Do we have any male armor here? The IG team? I don't think I see any. I don't see any women in the server. Darned male's really expensive. Oh, we do have one AEM and Nelly. And Triari. Three. What were we trying to say? No, I said nothing last. <laughs> There's any women in the server? I don't know what you mean. Oh, uh, no, nothing. But IG are now. Okay. All right. Here. Yeah, they're sort of chilling out. Um... Once the joke's passed, it's hard to catch it, my friend. Okay, man. I, you lost me completely. Um, IG just, uh, yeah, chilling out throughout their spawn in the ruins. I feel like they're taking sort of better spots in this in this map. They're sort of giving up their own spawn though, and A moving into it. So uh, A doing um. Good job of taking over map control, forcing IG into that kind of ruins corner. But it's hard to push any further than that because you know, IG they've already pushed Ned's up onto the up onto the cliffs. Even though Clark Johnson's trying to uh, push around the oh, flanks. Oh, is this a terrible twosome? The gruesome twosome coming up on the hill. Well, they, yeah, they are. Clark and <laughs> M. It's Ned's really uh, he's like worried that. a little. Both teams with the same class setups as well. Uh, oh, they've upped it to archers. become a terrible trio. Yeah, they've got Anders there. Chilling with him, and as the Norwegian player who Larue thought was Danish. Terrible team knowledge there. They're obviously too busy focusing on tactics, not focusing on the people behind the avatars. And that's far more Anders, is a, Anders is a recruit for this um, for this tournament, along with Weirdo. Is that why they're sending him out to be the the watchman up here? The the bait. Oh, I think Metsat's getting bold. He has his own terrible trio. Yeah, they're all kind of hugging this cliff in a bit of a fight here. Not going to quite break out, though. IG's just going to sort of... They just want to sort of stop um, A from taking too much map control. Black spawns now, and... Um, I don't know what IG's going to do. Are they going to back off? Because they don't want to give A this high ground. No, A are claiming it. They're moving from behind. Yeah. They've done quite a good A of keeping uh, A separated, though. That's going to be a, a value to them at least. M is already working at Nedsat. Siphon coming in from behind. At Cleric Johnson is running interference. What is the rest yeah. of them doing? They're coming they're from the They're moving forward. They're putting pressure on Crazy Boy and Nedsat. Nedsat uh, jabbing him from the back. Getting a bit of a crossfire going with Crazy Boy. Who's uh, sort of trying to jab him from both sides. But um, it's going to be tough fights for him to take. Crazy Boy almost going down to M. You don't want to fight M in a one-on-one. Because -on -one he is the 
seems oh, best to he's a crazy dude. Even with a sword, even videos, with a sword dude. board, yeah. He's just, he did he's not watch his videos. Took crazy boy down immediately. In the meantime, though, Nets has got nice hits, some nice hits on Clary Johnson, forcing him to back off. Anders gets a shot off, brings down Cypher, Lurie takes down Harmon. Um, IG looking pretty low here, Bambino, Barbara puts a good record against Zazan. Wesley takes down Cleric as cleric. well. Really close round here already, and um, Bagley with a nice spot in the middle ruins here. Uh, but being loses horse too, so um, tough times for the horseman of AE. Oh, this Demarfresh, is smart move. Everyone still mounted, from I believe. Until they could fight them all together. And IG fighting in this round, take a, a five-four lead here. It's going to fall to the flag. It might do. Um, Anders is near it. He could be raising it right now, which would help AE. In the meantime, Naru goes down to Bagley, and IG getting some momentum in this match. Could they be shaking the champs? M is really uh, injured. IG He's currently with no work. cav though, and that's that's gonna be a problem. They got th uh, three players on the and uh Shrafresh brings down Oh Bowler, one for one down, Wizzik. Corey gets M down, but the thing is IG now got um flag flag raising and I feel like Anders could have been raising that flag and could have given A a better Anders chance. It's two was, on two. Oh he, it's two he on two, aid. but uh IG with the higher flags here. Shrafresh oh, has some special breath. stuff. Oh, oh my goodness! Great bump slash and Ned has not that much health left. He's got to stay alive for five seconds here. I think Shimavas doesn't have momentum to do it. One uh, second! One second! Oh! Oh, they kill him! They get him in time! They got him and they take the round! I don't. Oh, oh they did my with, god, that was milliseconds. I thought Ned would have been able to stay alive there. I think he did. He put his shield away to try and manual block. That was reckless. I. I feel like Ned Sat could have, could have survived. I just think. I don't know. Shat, if you Shat really, if you so play well enough, you can't kill someone. Up. Yeah, dismounted to take him and Shmafrash. Uh, four and zero right now after two rounds. Uh, the score is four two, right? Uh, it's four two to Abstrepo right now. Yeah. Clark Johnson with a bit of smack, saying Scandinavian, I Scandinavian, good unit, according to Clark Johnson. I G were so close to tying it. Referring to Shmafrash Sh being Swedish and Anders being uh, Norwegian. Really playing uh, very well for Apache Pie. And that's going to be gutting for IG because they know that this is. They know that they're under the underdogs. They've got to take these chances. And it, it was so, so close. I've, not even half a second. It can't have been. Um, you got to commend Anders and Semferas for getting essential kills. You have to, but you, the, you think yeah. Nedzak. Got to be able to stay alive. Like, I don't know. Mental. Um, in any case, it didn't happen. And. Uh, IG had to dust themselves off, dust pick themselves, themselves up, off and try again. Exactly. And they can do it. They, I mean, they've shown by the fact that they did very well in that round that they can do it, and the fact they've won a round already in this set. So there's no need for them to be too demoralised. But um, it's, it's frustrating when you miss opportunities like that. IG Gori gonna come in. Uh, he's proudly looking for some. Um, Azen. Oh, and Harmon, oh, Harmon, Harmon and Corey are angry. Now Corey's going to get on him. Oh, a bit oh of, um, they cornered the horse. They lancing from the IG cab. They actually get each other. Oh, but there. they weren't able to stop but him. Corey, they tried Corey and so Harmon moving in to try and harass these uh, A cab. They could be getting something done here. Oh, they, some I think, wonderful I think, harass. IG came out. Yeah, I think out IG got the better that. of that. Yeah, Zan got himself caught up a little bit. Um, it was unfortunate Harmon's lance there. I feel like if he'd have hit a Zan, they might have managed to get, get him to horse. His horse must be so... It's, it's, it's limping. Well, the thing is, the, the Rodok horses, the hunters have more health than the, the Sarinid step horses, which are very, very um, papery, let's say. Hey, very good in those cavalry cab situations with those, with those great, uh, great maneuverability. Shamafresh, in the meantime, has got a war horse, which is going to be really tough for uh, IG to deal with. They're going to have to make that one of their focuses. Shamafresh comes up onto, the, um, up onto the porch area there. It's a nice... Bump slash off on uh, Wesik. Uh, Shmafresh and Reese off. Oh, lovely couple from Shmafresh. He's really making himself Shemfresh known. Shmafresh already he's starting such a, the pain train. He's so good at he's just sort of catching the players off in guard. The furnace. And he knows all the tricks to just get that damage done and get those hits where Cav, other Cav might not get their hits off. Chris will bring down M in the meantime though and um, gets the revenge from the last round. Used to be an archer playing uh, primarily as an infantry now, crazy boy. Bagler being harassed by the uh, Shemafrash though, and uh, it's going to be IG's main problem is Shemra if they don't, don't get him down early. Dyfin brings down LaRue though, and uh, A down to just five players. Uh, IG's taking a pretty decent advantage in this round. And have they dismantled Shemafrash? No, not quite. No, still they're trying problems. really hard to get Nelly him, brings that might be, Nelly uh... is Nelly, a German player, Formula known as Icarus. He is an absolute beast. This guy, he's got what I like to call flair. Um, him and Shemafrash. 
making light work of Cory in the meantime. Siphon brings down Anders though elsewhere. And Siphon with another kill. Siphon doing a great work um, on a horse. I guess three kills there in a row. And brings out Shemefish of his horse. Siphon with four oh kills. Oh my god, this showing him who's the better cab. Even with a brilliant play from uh, A, absolutely shutting him down this round. Um, just Nelly left and, well, while Nelly is a brilliant clutch player, I think one thing could be said of him is perhaps not always where he needs to be. Um, we can clearly see player. who the standout cab players are for each team. Yeah, indeed. Siphon doing it. Nelly managed to there. survive, saving a little money, denying a little money for IG, but IG taking another round. Indeed, yeah. Uh, bring it back to 3 4 and. Well, this is exactly what they want. They want to keep this. They, well, they want as many rounds as they can get. That's as simple as that, isn't it, really? Um, but I mean, the, the worst situation is going down sort of two or, or four rounds in the first set. You don't want to do that. And now um, they're looking set to uh, keep it 4 4. Set to take the set, am I right? Oh, God. Yeah. Set to take the set. Brilliant stuff. Yep. Some sort of. Almost, almost, is. it's almost a pun, but not quite. No. We'll have many more almost puns. You can tweet in your almost puns at Captain Lust. Hashtag yes, BCS 2013. Let me actually check um, the tweet deck here. Uh, we might, we might even read them out. Um, we might not. Only if they're punning. Are you familiar with Groove, with Delight? Groove is in the heart. This kind of 80s song. D-Light, is it funk? It's kind of like funky disco. Like Boosie Collins playing bass and then it's like Groovers in the heart. I don't want to sing it because that will be sing awful. Sing it, Lust. Come on now, the team's needed. This is a hype match. I sort of say sing it like Groovers in the heart. Oh my god, don't be afraid to sing, Lust. You have a nah, wonderful okay, voice. Let's move on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had it there. I, I, got I it. keep hearing I got the intonation, like, like, I got the rhythm. There's like, there's like a sort of, there's a bit of that sort of part of that song where it's pew. So it sounds like a siren. I keep hearing a siren, thinking that the song is playing for some reason. It just is spacing me out. Because you got your groove. Me. You got your groove on. Yeah. Us with all that funk music you've been listening to. Indeed. I've listened to a lot of funk lately. Uh, in the meantime, we've had some teams that haven't been playing the game. They've been waiting for the flags. Yes. Uh, which are going to spawn in five seconds. We've got the same kind of uh, squaring off going on up on this cliff face. But a different groove, situation right now. Where, because we got going. <laughs> Indeed. As IG uh, uh, took some different positions. They didn't take the ruins this time. They took their own spawn and the uh, forest. I think that's perhaps uh, A had taken the um, ruins. And it's going to work in their favor as the flag spawn there. How will IG surmount this? Well, I'm concerned. I, I feel like flag teams are not focusing on raising the flags enough. And we saw, I know, I know it's not Phil, but they're very different maps, but I feel like. Raising the flag is valuable, even though if, even if you're not going to raise to the top, it's always valuable. It's going to put the pressure on your opponents. <clears throat> they're going to make mistakes. They're going to rush to the flags, and they're going to be easy hey, to pick you off for your pressure you cavalry. Seem to understand that. Yeah, they're, they're going back there now, but they, they've moved off again. Uh, you know, uh, I really like flag pressure personally. Um, in any case, crazy boy Ned's got some nice positions like here. They're the kind of kills. flanking on the left side. I love I love the kills too. But um, I think it's far better. It's sort of doing what Renegades were doing and trying to surround their opponent. I think AE are letting. I should do a better job than Kurwa did, uh, and the Kurwa let Renegades do, but um, I think that I just got to make that move pretty soon, there's only a minute left, and uh, they just got to start getting some kills here and, and taking some taking the position which they need to take. No, RNG are taking their, their time so they can all get together at the flag. Yeah, Ooh, Ooh. a nice kill from Baugler there, brings down uh, Zan, that's nice. horse left wondering. <laughs> and Siphon with a... With a Harmon stealing the well. better horse, smart move. Then he brings down Ned's out. But you see with this with his kill glut last round, uh, Siphon's left with a the sounded heavy horse, which is gonna be absolutely crucial here. Uh, it's oh, not gonna help if he gets shot out by Nelly though, he's gonna watch out for his... Nelly taking him down. Um Shemefresh as well gonna be another massive problem. Um M managed to manage to rear Siphon there and no, always takes him down. Siphon does escape. Oh, but he gets caught up on the bench here and not nice making it the, the best of his Andrew. horse here. It's uh, six on six. IG with the flag slightly higher, and IG with the flag higher, can they... Is that enough to win? Is it going to be a draw? Are we going to see a draw here? Is this going to be a round draw? If IG got... It's oh a round draw. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, IG had the flag a little higher, but not high enough, apparently, and... Um, well, you don't see many round draws, not in this format, at least. That benefited and, uh, IG, because if guard. that went on any longer, they would have totally lost. Probably, yeah. Um, but it... 
benefits A overall because they are going to take this set as we move into a break. A going to be 4 3 up. And. That was a smart play by IG. They didn't care about dislodging them from the ruins, they focused the flag. Had AE done that a little harder early on, that would not have been a viable strategy for IG, IG to pull off. As well, IG did pull off, I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, I think I still think that A could have raised it higher and it probably would have won the won the round. But you know, hindsight is a valuable thing. So it's not it's not worth being too critical. Um it seems not what they're doing. Have a little break as we move on to Valoran. I love Valoran as a map. I love the little twists and turns, the ups and downs. I love the rat ways, I love the rat market. I love the cheese. And Eman loves the cheese. <laughs> Maybe we'll be seeing some cheesy tactics out of the teams here. I think Maybe. Valoran's map, we, I think you can go cheesy. I think, I think all infantry can work on Valoran, I'm just going to call it. I think it's a map where you could do something crazy like that, catch, yeah, catch your opponents off guard. I think it's probably one of the best maps. I yeah. really enjoy it. And we get to see it at its fullest because neither of these teams have a huge advantage like Kurwa had. Definitely don't, yeah, very, very close. 4-3, um, and that's a weird score. I think it's not the first... Um, it's not the first draw we've had, perhaps, but it's one of very, very few draws we've had uh, in this tournament. Um, because with this format, with the, the Force Flags, it's just so rare that you kind of have the round ending and the flags being on the same level and you, and you have both and both teams on the flag or both teams off the flag. It's very strange to have that kind of a specific set of circumstances. Um, but it just shows the intensity uh, that these teams rival one another. With which these teams rival one another. Guards of Asinia may actually take down Opus Europa. Could happen. Well, do you think uh, this closed map will benefit AE more than it will benefit... It's difficult. I mean, both... I. IG. It's hard. It's it's hard to call out uh, the teams and say that, that they have um, specific areas where they're really really strong or, or really really weak. I think both teams are very good all rounders, and that's that's one of the reasons that they're so strong. They don't have, really have any weak areas. Uh, they're they're strong in all aspects of the game. Um, I mean, this was the site where we saw Apis Europa's loss uh, against Renegades. But I mean, fighting Renegades is a very different prospect to fighting IG, especially the Renegades that played in that match. Um, with WQ's incredible tactical uh, awareness and adaptability. Um, I don't know, it's, it's very hard to separate the teams at all, I think. It's, it could go any way. I, I have no idea what to expect, to be completely honest. Anything I would say would be guesswork. That's what I like to hear. Well, well you've been one to predict. You're, you're a resident Nostradamus, Lost. I love to predict, but I mean, it's so... I think you just think it's so hard to call. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I've got no sort of real reason to, to give it to either team. I think that... I mean, I, I'll say Epis Europa are going to win because I would. It's just stupid to predict against them because they're the best team in the scene. But um, it could be I their downfall. Hot. I think one of the, one thing which could work in a. I mean, arguably, perhaps they have slightly stronger infantry. Um, I think most people would say they do. Perhaps I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't overestimate the. Oh, well, obviously, no one would over, would say they're overestimating it. But I mean, I wouldn't. I'd be careful of overstating the difference. I think that a perhaps do have better infantry. I think Craig Johnson on a map like this can do um, devastating things to a team because he's just a, a very aggressive, mentally very strong uh, infantryman. I see but him in there in the melee scuffles leading them. Exactly. It's his, It's his sort of like, he's got great kind of infantry meta. He knows how to, to fight individual opponents. He knows how to uh, make them stressed out and force mistakes out of them. Um, you know, there's a lot of players who can do everything right, but... He's got the mind um, games down. He's got the mind games to just kind of mess with players and get inside their heads and that, that's kind of really why he's so effective. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like IG have a player that can really match him in that sense but I mean this is the kind of map where I mean you have the flag spawns are in open areas so you can force the fights into open spaces. Um, I don't think that if IG play it well I don't think that A are really going to be able to force a situation where the inventory is going to be too significant on this map. Um, but we'll, we'll have to see how it plays out. Uh, either way, I think it's going to be a really exciting matchup because these teams are just looking so close right now, and both are playing really well. Yes, this one is. Much maybe maybe we can have some tweets in. One. Maybe people can uh, tweet in, say what they think is going to happen. There is the actually a tweet. It's not directly related to the discussion about what's going to happen here, but it's pertinent to the stream altogether, and it's by Volshin, who's been our resident streamer for today. So far, you got the award, bro. You got the hat. Thanks, Volshin. 
little star by your name. But he's saying that player names in the stream seem too big. You can't see the action because of it. I thought you actually kind of made them smaller. Or wait. Yeah, I have, I have made them smaller. I I don't know, I saw too big. Um, I bring actually, this up to ask the viewers, other people, if they also believe this is the case. We always want to make The thing is that they better. are... They are smaller, but they get they don't bigger. get small. They, well, they don't get bigger, but they don't get small as as fast. Um, but I think that actually helps because it means you can sort of read the names from a distance. Uh, the names are actually smaller and they're thinner. They should take up a lot less of the screen. So I mean, I I personally think it's a, a little bit of a better situation. I quite like what it's like at the moment. I think it feels more comfortable. But you know, Lust has um, put great thought like, into this since he is the man behind the uh, HUD that you see here. So we like the feedback, though. I mean, yeah, feedback please. is most important. Yeah, you can post on the thread as well, um, and you give us a follow. Send us a private message on Twitch. Send us a message on a comment on the YouTube video, whatever. Uh, we will get the horse from Sword Vod up as well. I know it's not been up. Um, I think Twitch has a problem with its exporter. I'll try and get that fixed and um, get the vod for this game up tonight as well, as a little bonus for the delay on Horse and Sword. Julian putting his tweet in just to be a contender for the title of King of Tweets. King of Tweets. I think King is a bit... Uh, resident tweeter, I think, is fair. I don't really want to... I don't want to give him a royal the position. The most that's... vocal songbird. <laughs> the prettiest Blue Jay. Whatever you might like, but he's putting his hat in there, Jay. except he actually didn't say anything worth talking about, so you kind of fail <laughs> no, there, brother. completely egotistical, self-centered Yeah, you nonsense. can't just tweet just that you're tweeting, expect you gotta our, say something, From man. our king of tweets. Typical floms, I think. But, um... Well, Jewel Bob things. <laughs> floms. <laughs> Jewel Bob things, maybe you have something of more value to say. Teams are pretty relaxed right now, we've got some uh, quite long breaks here. As our princesses have their uh, preparation. Yeah, they're tidying up their makeup, you know. Pulling out the they're, lashes. Uh, lengthening their lower, lowering their Lowering their hair down to their hands of princes. Well, I would hairs. think they're putting them up in Is that... buns like Princess Leia so they don't get in the way of the action. <laughs> princess Leia is a princess, it's true. Is Rapunzel the one with the long hair that yes. like, she lowers down? She has beautiful was... blonde locks. I love hair lust. It's and Rumple and Rumpel Stiltskin is the like the little guy who like makes the hair into gold or does weird gold things, I don't know. I once debated being a hairdresser just because I love it that much. Really? I thought about it as well. I don't know, can you cut hair? Oh I cut my own. It's it's a skill <laughs> you learn. I can't wait for horse and sword if you cut your own hair, I'm sure it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well I did, I did for a while. My neighbors helped me out now. They were they, they saw me go out one day and they were like, dude. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I can't do this. I can't watch this anymore. Because they are they actually all are hairdressers, hairdresser, so they're all like, nah, man, sit down. We need, we need some. We need some one, of them, one of them shears sheep as a part-time job and just said, like, I can do a better job than this, mate. They just chased me down with some shears and fixed it up. <laughs> well, you know, it's a dream. Maybe you can do some sort of professional course on the, on the part-time. We'll start um, by working on the hairs of these players, because I'm sure much of it is unruly. These guys spending so much time playing the game, not enough time caring about their haircut. You know what the hair of these guys like. They got headset hair. They got a serious case of the headset hair. Headset it's hair. It's all flattened down. Only in the, in the middle. middle. <laughs> so it's like you have two different fronts on your head. Who are the Counter Strike players that like spike up their hair and stuff? I feel like they kind of have like the headset in the middle, and then their hair is like styled perfectly around the headset to look like as cool as possible with like a headset <laughs> on. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure like my idea of a counter strike player. I'd appreciate yeah. the care. Teams are saying they yeah, are ready. Are oh, the headset brands are available? I'm personally using a uh, punch. Shall we run now. the intro? The wonderful intros. Let's do it. Oh wait, no. He's saying, "Yo, oh. Larue just trolled us." Yo. Okay, we're ready now. Oh wait, now run the intro. Larue, stop talking. And we are in Valoran. We're live, girls. Um, we've got some information in, uh, from the Twitch chat. Apparently, um, 
A having some problem with their TeamSpeak servers, that's the reason for the delay. Uh, and thanks to, I think it's the Deutsche Ritter server. Um, I think they've lent their TeamSpeak server to A now, so thanks to them. We get this match underway. Good sportsmanship, that's what we like to see here. These guys may be killing each other in the game, but they're friends in real life. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't get this server. It was, you know, it was Deutsche Ritter. Um, I'm sure IG would have given their server as well. I've seen that. I felt very once. smug about it. I remember that happening in some game. Yeah, I think so. Like one, it was the team gave the other team the this team speak server. I think that happened. Did happen? Yeah. Good sporting gentlemen. I'm, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say IG are not sporting. I think they're a very um, uh, honourable team they're or whatever. Sporting you know. good dudes, I root for you yeah. If you are. Sporting good dudes. Well, yeah, I'm sure they are. I got some star checkouts, some uh, some. I don't know what a star checkout is. I I, I literally have no idea. Yeah, I don't think I'm not very fashionable. <laughs> a quiff, uh, a double cowlick. I don't know what's a stylish. Uh, if you think double a cowlick. double cowlick is stylish, my friend, you need. Is that the joke? Are lessons. you a fan? Are you a fan of the double cowlick? No. no. <laughs> I like the double cowlick. It just seems crazy to me. Like, it's not just once. It's twice. It's twice. both sides, and you got. It kind of goes like it goes directly down in the middle. I don't know. Crazy. <laughs> Master of the stuff. spawns. A spawn indeed. Uh, not a, not a scratch on any of the players on our princesses to, uh, right now. Um, no, Mori's going to be going for some. Mori's taking um, maybe in the first round. Interesting choice. Going to have a bit of a weaker shield, but. Uh, our eight coming out. out the tunnels. Yeah, they've got the oh, there, yep. And IG raising the flag, which I would like to see. Right a, out of the sewers. Uh, under, under pressure right now, they've got to get onto this position. But um, IG giving away the courtyard, they're just going to back off, try and uh, perhaps get a bit of a crossfire set up here. A -E free free, ca free cavalry for IG as well. Man. I think this is the first time I've seen um, a team take a free cavalry on this map, I think. It could be a bit overkill. Corey already losing a lot of health uh, to um, the crossbowmen of AE. Ray brings down Chari, and I feel like IG just looking a little bit lacking in the melee for right now. Shamafrash brings down Netsat too. Oh, well, Shamafrash did a double kill. This guy is running things. Crazy Boy picks down Deacon, brings a kill back. Bit of a garage one there. M does <laughs> that uh, kill Corey as well. I think this is just too many horsemen from um, IG. They need more people in that fight. Oh, they are just tumbling M, off Ray. their horses. Yeah, and no, IG just um, being cut to pieces at the moment. Harmon goes down. Siphon down. Kekin, the only player left. And does manage to bait a team kill out there, but uh, we'll go down to more in the end. Great play from M, specifically Andrew Mavrash. Ray doing good stuff as well. And uh, early lead for Apis Europai. They're a team which, well, they love Swadia. They say it's overpowered. They love to play it. And um, Mori uh, making a point here. Immediately gone for the Brigandine in the second round. And IG got to adapt, try and deal with that. Hey, G, I think they took one less horse now. It was very disappointing to see all those horsemen getting shot and cut off their horses. Yeah, you know, well, IG still with three, three horsemen here. I think it's just a bit too many. I mean, even though the flags are on flat positions, I just feel like uh, it's hard for Cat to maneuver that well on closed maps, and you just end up getting shot a little bit too much. There's not really, like, a need for three cav. And, uh, like, the extra return in value of having the third after the second is not it's not as much as you get from maybe having <clears throat> um you know a, a, an extra archer or a, an infantry we're explaining to you now that this off. is the concept of opportunity cost it's an economic concept if you've ever done business studies or economics you can look up opportunity cost it is not feasible to have that many horses i mean you got to get the hay for them Exactly. Yeah. You got a storm. You got to care for those creatures. They're yeah, they're things. just crapping everywhere, aren't they? That's the problem, really, with horses. Yeah, that's the other thing too. Although you know, it can be good in a long campaign. You know, if you if you're a long time without food, you can eat the horses. Sometimes it's you know it's, it's happened on many a, a <laughs> Mongolian. Was it? Mongolian I just campaign. read an article about a man stuck in the snow with his dog for like like two weeks or so, and eventually he had to eat his faithful companion. But it, because of that, he survived. Well, I kind of feel bad because did the dog really want to go out? It was noteworthy. Wherever... It was an article because the dog had scared off a bear that was going to kill the man, and he rewarded the dog 
Like, <laughs> I'm kidding, it is good. Yes, I know, and it's the so thing sad. Is, it was it's very tragic, yo, but you gotta do it The thing is, it wasn't the dog's decision. The dog didn't decide to go out to the snow. The dog had no conscious decision to go, oh, I wanna go to this tundra or wherever the hell they were. It's, you know, the dog just went with the master. The master led them into danger, and the master killed them. I, you know, I feel bad for the dog. But Master of the Field has now spawned. Has spawned indeed, yeah. Um, same position? Are oh, you gonna be there? A bit more spread out though this time. Um, same thing for me, running through those ratways. Uh, more and with that brigandine gonna be a big threat. With their colorful shields. The splendor of AE coming right at IG, and how will IG respond this time? IG just backing off for the time being. I, I think Weirdo was in that same spot before, and I don't think anyone on IG really fought him or contested his, uh, his archer reign. And I think he's doing the same thing. IG really tentative here, pulling back. Their horsemen it's are... IG, IG's playing a dismounted cow, I don't know... Wow... Is that... Oh, it's to get extra scimitars, I guess. That's interesting, so they actually don't have three cav. Um, oh, scimitars are not really what you need against brigandines here. And A, in just these injury fights, they're so brutal, they're doing the shield stunning, they've got the tough armor, and IG can't really match them, um... You know, sword and board for sword and board at the moment, they just don't like, able to get the kills, I don't think. Uh, Corey getting caught up as well. Taken down in this melee. A you really know what they're doing in these melee fights. Uh, as LaRue mentioned, Horse and Sword, this is a game of engagements. That's very much A's attitude, and when it comes to engagements, they are really running rings around IG right now. Wow. But this is this is the test. Uh, IG, they've got to. They've got to adapt, yeah, they've got to do something. I just don't see how feasible it is to. Triari here trying to club that armor. Well, clubbing is a bit better than swording, because clubbing doesn't take as much of a. Um, a damage reduction from the armor. Oh, really? <clears throat> yeah. Same with um, spiked weapons, like piercing weapons. Uh, whereas cutting weapons, they take <clears throat> the most damage reduction from heavy armor. Well, Sorry, guys, my I voice is going a little bit. I'm able to put a dent in the armor of Apis Europa for this set. So far. Uh, IG, IG got to try something drastically different. They've taken uh, four infantry now. So they've switched up a little bit, but... They've got to do a bit more, and I think what they really want to do is, um, I don't know, it's difficult. I, personally, I'd like to see, I don't know, it's hard to say. I, I don't know, really, really what they want to do is kind of like surround them with archers, but I just don't think A going to let them do that, so it's a hard call to make. Um, four infantry could be good, um, but they, they don't want to fight in the same manner they've been fighting. I think that's the main problem. I mean, they, before they've just been fighting in like a clustered kind of, uh, you know, group. Where A is just looking too strong in, the, in that melee fight. Um, they want to kind of spread out the, the melee fight, let their cavalry some work, and just hope they can um, sort of beat them in that in that sense. Deacon's stuck, apparently. Where is Deacon? Let's see what, what this poor man is stuck on. What object? A bench. Oh, IG are actually they've, they've, asked the to, they've asked to teleport him. Um, a response from IG? I don't know. IG are responding by coming up to him. But as you were say oh no, what is what is this? Is this real? Is this real life? <laughs> Both yeah, teams are life, wondering uh, whether they should fight. I know it's from IG, I don't know exactly what. They're what responding there, but, with uh, their sword, they say screw you, fight from that position. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> when we're we get start, to you. Research the map. Uh, this could this could cause a problem though, I don't know. Oh what a great shot from Tri brings out Shamafash. What a oh, headshot! That, that, that was wonderful! Ah! Corey immediately going insane. for the horse! And, the upset. Uh, really getting annoyed now. Perhaps distracted by this um, uh, this whole situation with Deacon. And in the meantime, the IG Cav coming in from the back as well. Uh, they do manage to rear up. Um, oh, the great armor. horse is still as well. A pulling this back. Yeah, four, five, six oh rapid fire kills God. from uh, A. As they're just looking too strong in these fights, and it's it's this armor. I think is going to be is a real issue for. Uh, IG, A making sure they're making uh, the full snowball use that they can of the SWAT right now um, with these brigandines and um, the match is slipping away from IG. <laughs> oh. Maybe it was all one elaborate plan. It was a ruse. But, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's looking pretty grim for IG right now. The armor only gets better. It only gets better indeed. Um, M looking stacked, Mori. Not, not so stacked for sort of Deacon and a couple of other players, but uh, Widow pretty um, tanked up as well. 
I'm preferring to take the boots and a decent helmet rather than that role playing great helmet which uh, Maury's grabbed there. Got that bucket helmet. So role play. He's got those gauntlets as well. No, oh, role play. Oh, my it's testing out. It's testing out the. Uh, yeah, the glitch. Oh, strange. But, why um, would, you, why well, would you play with fire? <laughs> bear in mind, You're only if, gonna uh, get burnt. if they win this round, they win the match. And oh, because there was anything? a draw. I forgot about that. Yeah, can I do anything here against this kind of? Um, well, if they win, they can become Swadians and, and snowball that armor too. But they have to get to that but point. They've got to win. That's the point. A point I'd like to bring up, you said, is that, um, like, a I IG to win need to dislodge AE from these positions, or they had to do it earlier. But AE are known for excelling at, uh, setting up their archers before the engagements occur. You can yeah. see it in those first few rounds when they set up Weirdo in the corner, and then they started rushing. The main oh my god. Oh god, I think IG's like running. Pace, yeah. IG got caught halfway. They're jumping down. Crazy boy jumping down to be yeah, part of the fight. Yeah, Ned Sat and Troy being quite quiet here. Crazy boy up, up top, but he's not really in, in the fight where he needs to be. And A just running into them, ready for this fight. Harmon dehorsed Ray. That's a good pr progress being made there. Wessex jumping up, trying to shoot whoever he can. Pierce that arm. Troy does bring down M, and uh, IG's doing okay, but Shemafra Sprint takes down Harmon right here. LaRue takes down Tek Tekken, and it's slowly slipping away from IG right now. They need some dramatic. Um, Wesley's still trying to shoot. Now he has to focus on Scar, who's behind him. Wait, I think IG, IG are kind of doing. Here. Wesley does take down Scar. Okay, a a IG is still in this. Shemfrash uh, is actually down still health. distracted down there, so Wesley can still do some damage from up top. AE are retreating from the area Wesley can shoot from. That's a pretty smart move. Wesley up there though. Uh, oh my point. God! Takes down Mori. with a great shot. And the tank does go down, and there's actually no, neither of the tanks are left for for AE right now. Uh, it's 5-5 five, five, player-wise. Shemafra is still on his tanky horse, though. That's going to be a big problem for them. Fight has now transferred to a fresh and the issue, area. The issue now is going to be the flag. Um, a going to get to the flag first. And that's going to put major pressure on IG. Who just have to move forward now. They can't let um, A raise that flag and, and get too far ahead. Tries a long way away. He's got to start moving quickly. And uh, A could push one of these sides. Uh, IG because IG trying their to split up. to win this one. And A moving on to the flag right now. There's not much, not much time left for, for IG. Corey loses his horse too. And, and uh, Seth and well, Corey just running in there on the side. They want to shut down these crossbows. Uh, Laurie takes down Chari. In the meantime, show us oh. his horse. Winner brings down Corey and uh, Neto goes down too to Deacon. Down they go. Um, great archer setup from A. Just like two. Two solid on um, Lauren, and that's the win. We have our second set of finalists. Congratulations to AE. IG, they did great on the first map, but they just couldn't quite cut it on Lauren. There will be perhaps some uh, frustrations. People talking about Swadia. Uh, personally, I think it obviously had an impact, but I feel like, um, well, in the last rounds, we saw the tanks actually got taken down, and AE was still just too much of a match for um, IG in the end. So that's going to be the end of it. Uh, 8-3 victory for Apis Europi. And, well, neither match was too close in the end. We thought these semi-finals could both be really close affairs, and uh, it didn't turn out to be that way. Um, Maybe. Congratulations to our, to our finalists, Kurwa and Apis Europi. We'll be bringing that um, next week, presumably, when it happens. Yes, congratulations nice to both teams. And maybe it is destiny that Kurwa reaches Apis Europa in the finals, because maybe this, they are the guys who could finally upstage this team. The Kings. Could be. Kura, Kura flying pretty hard right now. Uh, we'll probably do another episode of Horse and Sword, uh, perhaps towards the weekend. Maybe get E-Man on, do, do some sort of maybe... Actually, I'm thinking might, maybe I'll do sort of combine it with the finals, have like a sort of pre-final build-up episode. That's something I'd like to do. Pre-final um, that leads directly into the final? That's pretty trippy. Yeah, yeah, like a sort of... Like, you know, like when you have like sports TV and you have like kind of an hour of build-up when they're like talking about what's going on. Yes. Maybe not an hour, but we do like maybe sort of a, a half-hour preamble type um, Horse and Sword. In any case, that is uh, great a entertainment. I like the idea. Lost. In any case, that's the end. Um, let's put up. Sorry, it should be post game. Man, guards, guard of Estinia were doing great on Frosty Battle, as good as they could. But then, then Valoran happened. <laughs> yeah, he's just looking too tough. Far um, too tough. And I just gotta commend AE. Even on the last round, where 
IG seemed to, you know, have some even footing there for a moment. AE did. chooses not to fight in areas where they're not advantaged. And a smart fighter Definitely. only fights fights he knows he can win. So, AE just, they got, they're on point, man. They are indeed. Um, and congratulations to them. You know, they, they're they keeping their um, reputation as the best team in the scene. And they just got a seal of Kurwa for the title right now. Um, can I wonder what Kurwa can bring, though. Kurwa is an upstart, and they're out for They're looking good, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see what Kurwa can bring in the final as well. Like, you know, this is, this is going to be obviously their biggest challenge so far. Uh, but they've risen to pretty much every other challenge with the uh, well with flying colors. Each Let's match see I see them play, I only see them get better. Yeah, definitely they've been improving at an insane rate, and they're gonna be practicing a lot for these finals as well. So um, well, yes. Uh, final, finals next week. Cool versus A. Tweet in um, throughout the week, and now whenever you want. Uh, other than that, just follow us on uh, Twitch, follow us on YouTube, post your thoughts on the thread, and um, that's pretty much all i got to say. Any closing thoughts, my friend? No, e these have been two wonderful matches. A shame they were not closer. However, all the teams have played far harder. Yes, there were some really close rounds and the quality of play was just yes. uh, seriously, seriously top stuff. I think these final stages are really ramping up the teams and getting them you know, in shape. Now we've Great weeded out all the other teams and only the top two remain. Indeed. And I'm excited to see him go at it. I am hyped. And I'm going to okay, remain guys. hyped for the week. So, <laughs> it's going to be a hype week. Hype week, oh, yep. Indeed. All right, guys. Well, um, see you in a week's time then. Good Take night, care. my European friends. Bye.